So in the previous video, we talked about different sources of randomness. Let's now talk about how we can control these sources of randomness. And let's start by talking about the model weight initialization step. So when we initialize the layer or model, you will notice that the model weights are different each time we initialize that layer. So for example, if you run this code on your computer, I guarantee you, you will get different results. So how can we now make this weight initialization step reproducible? One way is by seeding the random number generator. So here we are calling torch.manualseed and provide an integer value to make the code reproducible. So if you run the same code here now on the slide, I guarantee you this time you will get the same results. So let's now talk about the data shuffling as another source of randomness and how we can control for it. So suppose we have our training data loader like shown here. Each time we iterate over the training data loader, we will see it will return different labels. So if you run this code on your computer, you will get different labels than I get. To address this issue and to ensure that the data on my computer is shuffled exactly the same way as on your computer, you can also see the random number generator here. Again, by calling torch.manualseed and then providing an integer value, we can fix the random seed. So now, how about non-deterministic algorithms? How can we make them behave in a predictable way? One way to do that is by setting deterministic equals true in the Lightning Trainer. So that's one of the nice features that the Lightning Trainer provides by just having to change one line of code. However, note that this might work for most algorithms, but there are exceptions. So how about enforcing deterministic behavior on our hardware and drivers? Unfortunately, this is a little bit tricky if we work with GPUs. Really, the only way to guarantee reproducible behavior is by using exactly the same GPU hardware and drivers. However, if you really care about deterministic behavior, there's also always the option to run the model on the CPU. Of course, running your code on the CPU though will make your code run much more slowly. However, this way you can at least guarantee deterministic behavior if you really need it. So if you really want to run your code on the CPU only, you can set the accelerator equals to CPU here in the Lightning Trainer. So now that we covered the common sources of randomness and we saw how we can address them, let's actually make a few changes to our previous lightning training script and see if we can make it reproducible in the next video.